Good evening fellow noobs. Uh, today we're going to learn how you can set variables in Power Query. Uh, to be specific, we're going to talk about three ways that you can set variables in Power Query. So you may have experienced in VBA or macros before where it is uh, much easier to have a set variable in place. You know, you would you'll know how it's easier to have a container that you can then use for uh, let's say for functions or calculations elsewhere so the three ways we'll discuss today is uh, one creating the variable within the current workbook in Excel uh, second one is as a result from another query or a function and third as a parameter okay so for the purpose of this video let's say you have let's say we have a sample data like this so we have a date column we have a ticket number and then we have a status um, so the the query itself is not as you should this is just to il illustrate how we can you know uh, use variables in different contexts so for this one let's make a sample query so I'm gonna put this in M first uh, I'm gonna put this in Power Query Editor uh, alright and let's say for this query we're tasked to get okay let's, let's change the date and let's say we're tasked to set the filter up until Uh, let's say up until before all right let's put it before today okay and then from here let's say we want to get the count of the statuses in this so for this one let's use group by put in okay so it says here we have 35 and 57 open so let's load this on our current sheet okay let's put this here in the same page and let's go up actually and let's look at that okay so this is the result of our query okay so to illustrate the first example um, so how can we declare a variable within the current workbook so let's say here if we want to control the date filter here okay to go back on the M query M code so if you notice here the date function is hard coded. Okay, so if you were, for example, if you were to run this in the whichever, let's say for the next days, it's still going to be as uh, June 5. Okay, so to illustrate the first example, let's say on our current worksheet, let's put in, let's say, date limit. Date limit. And you know we can put in today as as you know the the Excel formulas today, which will always give us the day today. Now the trick here is the trick here is we have to give it a name. So, so it's basically go going to change. It's basically going to be a named range. So for example, let's call this until this date okay. okay now once that's that one that's once you've given that name we're gonna pull that back in so we'll click on data and then from table range okay so if we take a look at the code here 
you'll notice the function that is that is used as the source is Excel dot current workbook, and this is basically the name that we used from earlier. Now the trick here is you have to change this to a date function first, a date format, then replace current, and then you have to drill down because otherwise uh, M is assuming that it is a table. For this one, we want it to be an actual record. Then close and load as a connection only. Okay, so now with our original table, we are going to change the filtered functions here for the, the hard coded date here. And we're going to type here until this date. So we're going to get the same result since it's the same date. But let's say you change this to an earlier date. Let's say 4, 5. Say April 5. Let's go to our data and refresh. Now it's changed. Let's say, let's give it to a later date. Let's say 7, 5, July 5. And then refresh again. Okay. So this is the first way. The second is as a result from a query of or a function which you've seen already in some way using the until this date. But okay, to illustrate this, let's say you have another set. Let's say you have a different set of data that you want to be you want to use as a reference, and let's say we're pulling this in also. Okay, and then for this data, we want to get, let's change this to date. For this data, we want to get the last date where the, where there's still an open ticket. So to do that, we're going to select on open. And then we're going to get the uh, transform. And date. We're going to get the earliest. Earliest. Let's rename this as the earliest open date. And then we're going to close and load this again. connection and then if, if we go to our original data we can change we will edit the M code again let's change this to the earliest open date now whatever the result is here that's going to be what is used for our first table So it's using here 14 and 22 because right now what it's getting is the earliest open which is March 4 now let's say we push it on a later date it's 420 okay so that changed also the last one is as a parameter. Now, if you are you, if you'll be using a parameter, you're gonna have to open it in Power Query. Uh, okay, let's let's go to the Query Editor, and then to create a parameter, it's gonna be this one. On the Home tab, click on Manage Parameters and click on New Parameter, and say let's name this as parameter date and it's for this one you're gonna going to have to sp sp 
specify a a format a data type for it so let's put in date and let's put here any value for the current value we're going to have to assign a, this is a reference one for the first first time you're going to put it so let's put 6 5 2021 then click on ok and that's it that's your parameter if you use it again on our original query here, we're going to type parameter date. And we'll get the original results from earlier. Now the difference with a parameter is you can only change it. You have to open the query editor first to be able to edit it. For example, let's put in March 5. March 5. 2020 and then close and load if it refresh the original query so that's that's when it's being picked up from the uh, our main query and okay so one of the advantage of using it within uh, as the current the first method is um, you can put in calculations here and just put it in a named range so it will follow the formulas in Excel just be careful though because um, whatever the value is before the query runs uh, that's going to be what uh, what the query editor will pick up so whatever is the result from Excel, that's what it's going to use. And that's it. Um, I hope you find this useful. If you have any questions, yep, yep, please type it in below. Thank you and good night.